So let's move on to a different topic. We have a, another question from our Facebook Live audience that wants to know uh, what's been happening on the bonding bill and potential bonding issues. Uh, and I think that's a great question. We haven't discussed it much over the last couple of weeks. Um, anybody want to take a run at it? Uh, bonding starts in the House. So, well, then, yes. then we'll start in the House. So we'll start with you. We'll start with you, uh, <laughs> Representative Anderson. Talk about bonding. Well, actually, my committee is hearing a bunch of bonding bills tomorrow. See, there you go. Nice work, <laughs> so, Senator Osmick. He knew it. He yeah. teed it up. Uh, so we're going to be discussing some of those uh, projects and then sending it on to the Capital Investment Committee that deals with bonding overall. And, uh, you know, we haven't had a bill. Uh, we didn't have a bill last year. And um, I don't know if we'll have a bill this year, but I think that... Uh, Representative Erdahl is looking at all the projects. It takes a long time uh, to do all of that and review them and figure out which ones make sense, which ones are shovel ready. And uh, so I think that he's uh, doing a good job of doing his homework and, and figuring out uh, if we were to do a bonding bill, what projects would be included in it. I await the, the bonding bill with bated breath. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have not. Uh, I don't. I have not seen or heard of much activity in the Capital Investment Committee. Uh, you're correct. Most of them are, are moving through the uh, finance com committees. Uh, typically, there's uh, there's a, a little bit more excitement at this particular point in in a session on a bonding bill. There's you know, we live on rumors up there, and, <laughs> um, and I, you just don't hear any speaking or talking of a bonding bill. So if I think if there is one, it's two days before we end session. But not, it wouldn't surprise me if it's two days before the end of session. And I have no inside scoop on what's going on with the bonding bill. I have one good old proposal of my own that's getting a hearing next week. So some of these things are slowly moving through the process. Because of the fact we didn't have a bill last year, and because there's a backlog, I think especially some areas um, higher education, the backlog of deferred maintenance. I think those are things that, like I <coughs> said, trying to reduce recidivism. I think it's a question of the old ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I think we, in terms of a lot of our infrastructure needs, we're way behind on, and it's smarter to take care of it now before it falls apart. So I'm very much hoping we have a bill this year because we didn't last year, and and when we miss a year, we seem to not make up for it. We just kind of we put a longer waiting list on things that have been waiting, and some of which are urgent. I remember one year we had two big bonding bills. Very rare. Yeah. On the Senate side, um, we did move uh, the, actually it was almost an identical bill to the one that died in the last 15 minutes on the Senate floor uh, last year. Um, we have moved that through cap investment, through, I sit on transportation, I believe it's in finance right now. Um, and I think people need to understand that bonding bill a little bit. It, it had a significant investment in transportation. I mean, there was cash components that were very significant. It had my Highway 12 safety money, money in it. And, you know, one thing to mention on that is that barrier that we put in, the Jersey Wall, uh, that actually, the first day it opened, already benefited Minnesotans. We had a person bump against it uh, mm -hmm. that had a medical emergency, and it saved a life. So there's a lot of good in that bill. And always when you have a bonding bill, and you know, I've only been around for four years, significantly less than my colleagues here, but uh, there's always the, you have, always have to have items in there to try and get votes, and that's just the way bonding works. And I know that there's some more conservative people. It's hard to believe there's more conservative people than me. But uh, there, you do have to spend money on bonding projects to fix our prisons, to fix our school districts, to our, our higher education system, to fix our roads. Uh, so there are good in there, that there are a couple of stinkers, but that's just the way the bonding, bonding situation works. You need a supermajority to pass anything with bonding. You need a 60 percent vote. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you want to define some of those stinkers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that to be mentioned later. <laughs> no, it doesn't apply to anybody at the table. No, right? no, no, no. no, no, no. no. Okay. Very good. All right. Okay.